Hey guys, welcome back and welcome to part two of my Ores um, for Naturals product review. So as if you didn't watch my part one, please click that video right there so you can know exactly the description of every single product that I will be reviewing today. And also if you would like to take part in the product review program where you can get free products from name brand companies like Kinky Curly, We Dad, please click the link below. Okay, so I, in my first video, I was showing you the three products that I received from Oars, um, the olive oil hair company, and it was the butter, the um, styling souffle, and the gel souffle, and I like to call it my um, bags, where I will be using the butter first my scalp, and then I'll be using the gel after, like below where my ends, where I really want it, it to show more of its extension. And then I will be using the souffle on my, on the actual hair itself. So, cause usually when I add gel to my hair, depending on the product, I don't feel like I get enough moisture. So this is my way of ensuring that I get enough moisture by also by still ensuring that I get a good um, curly look. Cause since my hair is curly, I like to use products to keep, to actually show off the curls that I have. Okay, so we're gonna start. Make sure you start off with four sections. Section out your hair, and that's what the instructions also said to do on the product. Section out your hair so each part of your hair actually gets the treatment that it deserves. Okay, so starting off, I'll be using hydrating hair butter. I'll be using hydrating hair butter on my scalp. See, if you look at it, my scalp is already getting my edges for my scalp actually looks laid already and I didn't even apply anything to it yet. So basically, this is what I'm going to be doing. I mainly want to apply it to the sections of my hair. And these products could last you for a while, because depending on your hair type, you probably won't need you will not pro you probably won't need a lot for your hair in terms of application, and you probably wouldn't need to apply constantly day after day. So that's why I'm using this bags technique instead of just using one product and saying here I tried only this. I want to show you the full product line where I am able to show you what all of these products has to showcase and the butter I would definitely recommend you apply to your scalp as a moisturizing technique before you apply any of the other products because the other products are only stylers the butter the butter can also be it's like a little twist out type of product that's what you use it for if you may not want to apply gel or creams it's good for a twist out Split this section in a little bitty half. And as I talked about, I'm going to use my bags technique. So I have my souffle here. And I'm going to use this souffle for the upper angle of my hair and the gel for the lower. And what this does is this actually protects the act my actual roots. Cause I really, cause I mainly want the ends to be curly, but I want like curly down, but I want my actual roots to be up, meaning that I want it to have a body. And as you can see, that's what it's creating so far. And thankfully the actual products, you know, <laughs> the product was actually on the cover, so I'm actually able to use it without having to dip my hand in it. Okay, let me show you the magic of using this bags technique. See? Boom. Body here, curl here. That's the point. Because the main thing, see? That's the bags technique. See, if you look at it here, my hair has body. 
and what I love is that day is coming usually a day after or if I go outside and the humidity really gets my hair I actually get to see my hair dangle down but my but the actual roots has body so that's why that's why the bags technique is so convenient that you can and it doesn't take too long so I predict that I'm not going to be here for a long time because since I pre-treated my hair with the hair butter, see, and I sectioned it out. Boom, baby. Ooh, ooh, yes, I like that. Yes. See? Curls. But it is curls with the body. So I can't wait for y'all to see the finished product. And make sure that every time you rake through your sections, if you're not planning on using a comb, to really clear off your hands so you don't apply it back into the product to make the product look like it's filled with hair especially if you're sharing the product with someone else but if you're using it by yourself still still keep it clean because it it looks prettier especially if you're wanting to do a review for it now what I love is that you don't have to you know do it so extra I'm putting a good bit of gel here and that's all I'll need And the adding the um, souffle and the gel together actually creates a curly bob. But mind you, if you add it to your, see? Pretty. It's light too. So thank you so much, Ors, for suggesting these products for my 4A hair. Because since my hair is 4A, you know, I really don't need anything weighing it down. So I love this, like I'm completely in love. Yeah, and adding the cream before the gel is a technique that I would recommend for anyone who has 4A hair or, or no matter which type of hair type you have, I definitely recommend that, especially if you want body, I recommend it. Because what the souffle does, it actually moisturizes the actual hair itself and then when you add the gel, the gels, okay, if you have curly hair, the gel is only to enhance your curls instead of giving it to you because your hair will naturally give you the curls. You make sure you get the back so everything lays down. <laughs> My mom always told me that I always get it good. See, we're on the last section because when I moisturized my hair prior with the um, hair butter, I actually moisturized my scalp and I passed it through the back. So that's why it's not taking me long to actually get it good. And plus, I know sometimes some products can tell you to use dime size, but here's what I say. Use your own size. Because depending on if your hair is short, if your hair is big, sometimes you cannot use a dime size. No matter how much they tell you, you cannot use a dime size. But as long as you follow the instructions and the main okay, there's instructions, but then you also need to have a method to how you're going to proceed with everything else. So this is my hair and how curly it looks. And I'll show you in diff different parts that I could do. Okay. This is my hair. Yep, this is her. Okay. So, let's take you on for a ride. Okay. So, basically, this is my hair. It's, if you notice that it's aloof, meaning that it's not weighed down by anything, I actually love this a lot. You see? 
and I can even do little side views where I have my hair over here and if you look at my hair it, it doesn't have any residue at all you wouldn't even know that I have cream in it and what you do is you simply take some of the gel souffle and you slip down them edges child and your edges will be laid and always paid so basically this is how much of the gel that I've used so far. I hardly used any of it because since I use the um, bags technique, and this is how much of the souffle that I use. You probably can't see it, can you? Hmm. Let's fix that. Yep, this is how much of the souffle that I use. See, it's practically still full. And, of course, this is how much of the butter that I use is still full because I had a method and usually when you have a method you won't have to use so much product so that's what I definitely recommend if you're ever going to try these the ores olive oil for naturals hair care line <clears throat> the new hair care line is definitely have a technique don't just put it on your hair and expect your hair to look curly when you have a method and a technique then the outcome will be better because yes sometimes products comes with instructions but then again sometimes it's not going to turn out how you want it to look so definitely leave your comments below and if you th think that my bags technique worked and bags I actually just created that a couple of minutes ago as I was talking to you I'm so uber excited so please let me know what you think about this technique and I'm so looking forward to doing more product reviews and please join their um, naturally curly product review program so you can get products just like I just got them yeah and please follow me on Instagram true Bond magazine true Revant, um, at true Revant on Twitter and please like our Facebook page true Revant magazine and please stay tuned to more videos and as well check out my blog so you can see more um, articles that I write either if there's reviews health tips so many things that you'll enjoy and until next time guys peace and me yes and for me this is the perfect style that I want I don't want my hair to be tamed so I love that it's free and it's spring, so I'll definitely recommend these, this hairline for my mom, my sister, every single family member that I know. So I'll see you guys soon. Bye!